Okay, everybody, I guess we're gonna do some late night PSO since we wrapped up trials a little early. Having beaten the game. So, anybody that wants to hop in, feel free to join in. We're just booting in now. Enjoy some Bomberman. I will do a courtesy and say that I'm doing PSO. Bada bing, bada boom, says Kirk, pretty much. Chris says he'll need 15-20 minutes to make something eat, then he could join in, no problem. We're almost done with the Bomba Man 94 soundtrack, sadly. This is a catchy battle theme, but sadly after this there's just sound effects. So we'll see if anybody wants to join in. We'll wait a little bit in block two. And then when the soundtrack is over, I think we'll make a game. Ooh, look how look how empty the lobby is. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna briefly look to see who's in the main lobby. I so rarely go to block one. Tiggy was making fun of the fact that I'm never in block one. There are people here. Anyway. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. So, if we have enough people, we'll do some multiplayer. Otherwise, I was going to do a warm-up TTI. I know Chris will be a little bit. So, our goal is to get this character to 180. We're going to increase it from 180... From 179 to 180. Because we got a bonus session. Oh, I see Imperameter coming in. This character has everything set up. Yeah, I didn't put anything away. So we're gonna let... We'll let these sound effects play and then we'll move on to the next soundtrack. Battle draw. So enjoy the last 40 seconds of Bomberman and we'll get started. So for anybody looking to hop in, you have until I switch the soundtracks. How to do my Duolingo before the owl murders me or something? <laughs> the owl just goes, Can you say help me? Your last words will just be Ayudame screamed out loud. Unknown fanfare. Okay, let's get started. Whoa, what a different sounding soundtrack already. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I Listening to this, I would never think Bomberman. Holy, what a difference. Okay, I think it's just me and Imperameter for now. Oh, well, let's see if Imperameter can hard carry. No pressure, but we're all watching. I guess on the plus side, I know how Cleave was talking about uh, needing luck material. I think it's every egg equals one luck material. I wonder if he can make it up from the five egg gambles to get enough luck material that he needs. I was thinking about that the other day. I did check over the list. There really is not much I want from the five egg gambles. Like, they're a really good trade fodder, don't get me wrong, but I, I just honestly don't want most of the items. 
Like, I don't really have a need for, like, 30 hit vices. It would basically just be, like, spread needle, a bonus V unit or whatever, and that's about it. I missed. Wow, I killed it with the Gear Assault special. Oh my gosh, invincibility. I did it, chat. I raised Synchro. I did it. I'm the winner. I mean, I might as well just play until this character hits 179, to be honest with you. And then after that, we can see what the team wants to do. But honestly, TTF is probably what the team wants to do, if I had to guess. Red Ring is kind of like the most sought after item in the game. Let's see, do I have a lot of star atomizers? I got four left. Okay. So hopefully I pick up a couple... Ooh, get a little bonus damage there. Hopefully I pick up a couple while I'm uh, out and about. Because then I can feed it to my mag. Again, when I hear this, this doesn't sound Bomberman to me at all. I don't even hear like the motifs of the other songs. I could do Moon Atomizer, Star Atomizer. That could work. So like, if I pick up spare moons, I'll feed it. I don't want to feed too many moons because obviously I might need to revive people. So I should have like at least probably four at any given moment, maybe five in case I double input. Ooh. Get a little greedy there. I don't know if this will work. Oh, it'll barely work. I want to make sure I don't hit its spawn point. That's what I'm worried about. Now it doesn't matter. Ooh, Star Atomizer. Excellent drop, actually. Gonna go towards feeding the mag. Goodbye, slime. Okay, we're gonna throw a Confused Trap down here. Then we're gonna throw another one down. This should get most of them killed. Never mind. They split their damage pretty evenly. That's unfortunate. Oh well, we still got slime dupes. Spread needle, how much hit? Ooh, 25 hit, nice. I think my highest is 20 hit total. So even before attacking, they beat me there. Put down a telepi. Hmm. What are the odds of me getting something useful here? I think pretty low. Oh, you know what? This advanced synchro seems to be helping. <laughs> I've now gotten it twice in a row. It's only at 30%. It's very far from 120. I'm gonna save my money here. When we have an Excalibur user, they do a lot of damage. So I can use my early uh, Jaya to burst the shell for them. That's all that really matters. Extra hits beyond that, my power strike is good enough. To compete with Excalibur, three hitting. Unless it's a sacrifice Excalibur, of course. But just normal power hits. It's not too bad. We're going to Confuse Trap here, see if we get anything fun. Yeah, we want to try to squeeze out a couple of bonus kills if we can here. Right, let's go to the next room. So no PDs there, sadly. Okay. 
If only they targeted each other. They probably won't though. They're very trolly. Garneon with 30 hit. Oh wow, that's pretty high. <laughs> I'm just booking it. <laughs> like, I'm not messing around. It's like a twin blaze to slow it down. Damn, if I... Ooh, actually, that'd be sick. If I got twin blaze with machine percent... That would actually be decent, because it, it has, like, an okay amount of ATP, if I remember correctly. Like, more than 200. I think that would make a difference. I don't think it's, like, 500, but we'll, we'll check its exact amount later. Look to get Chris one of these. The owl is no longer hostile. Good to hear, Murphy. Come over here eventually. Let him parameter deal with those. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Right now I have 115% accuracy thanks to my special bonuses. See, it looks like it has a damage range of 300 to 520. So I think it would benefit pretty heavily from the machine percentage then. Even though I can't get a big grind. Because even if it applies to the minimum, 309, which is the minimum, is still pretty hefty. Like 50% machine would be 150 ATP. It's not bad. Because I think it applies to minimum. Chat could correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while since I looked. But I believe it applies to minimum, not the maximum ATP when it gives a damage range. Those mechanics are kind of nebulous to me. I don't have like any in game reference. So it's just pure memory. My memory's terrible. Okay, I'll go this way. Operation and protect and parameter. There we go. Oh, it increases the whole damage range. Thank you, Murphy. I wasn't sure what it added to. Like, I wasn't sure if it would be like 600 to 812 or 600 to 1024 for clarity. That's fine. See, so yeah, in which case, I think that's potentially good. I'm not sure how that would focus when using Gafoe that way. That's kind of like another layer. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. See Murphy typing something, but my brain is like, you better not, you better not look at the chat while you're doing spinners at 8 HP. You better not. I will acknowledge Murphy has said something though. I think it's something along the lines of charge arms not being worthwhile. If I had to guess, I only glimpsed at it briefly. But saying that's why X Calendar Flow are important. 
if I was reading that quickly. I dare not double look at that though. That's why attributes of Sir Blanco and Dark Floor, Heaven Strike, Excalibur, Cannon Rouge, but don't matter on Charge Arm. Yeah, yeah. It's unfortunate because Vulcans, for example, are also just kind of. Uh... Oh, actually, I don't want to be here. That's the wrong head. I got confused where I was for a second reading the chat. We're good, though. Parameter only got a slight tap from one of the spinners. Ooh, none of the shinies hit. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna stay against the far wall here. I don't think there's much I could do. Hey, being on the opposite side of the boss, it feels so bad. Speaking of feels so bad, can you stop? New pattern, please. Thank you. Oh, much better pattern. Oh, I can forgive you now. Wait, why would attribute? Why would it matter per class, Spurfy? I'm not following that logic at all. Face off a weapon ATP and armor ATP. It's pretty bad. Vulcans have like 40 ATP. That's being generous. All of them would be using Red Ring. Cats would have the advantage of having ATP armor. Dualbird can- Dualbird at least has high ATP. I think it has like 200 for a Vulcan. Compared to the horrible like 35 or less that most Vulcans have. Some of them have like 6 literally. But with the grinders. It's kind of terrible. <laughs> it's like here- here's like 10 ATP. I don't know if I have a revive. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Oh, you better heal yourself in Parameter. Please don't die. Rip me. Sorry about making that take longer. GG. I need to I need to burn my star atomizers, I think. Then I can have another escape doll there. birds are okay I, I it's more the fact if they if they were allowed to roll hit i think they would be really amazing uh controls uh okay but my controller gave up <laughs> there we go oh 40 hit arm so sad yeah, the special is a little special. See, that would have been good before they nerfed it. Just so that just so that everybody's aware, Affinia got the hard XP nerf. For those that did not play on like the GameCube era, it was all about running to uh, your local Rico box and spamming kings until you leveled. So having a Vulcan with kings is was actually really good because you got so many uh, XP props. Especially with how Anguish would have worked with it. It would have been actually broken. That would have been silly. You've been getting almost an XP's worth. Like, a kill every combo, essentially, is worth of XP. You just do that on ad infinitum. It's very silly. But yeah, uh, if any of put in hard caps, so that strategy doesn't matter at all. But that would, in theory, allow you to kind of cheese leveling without having good items. Rip that strategy. 
Yeah, I, I unfortunately just feel like Kings is useless now in Affinia. Like, I literally... I cannot think of a scenario where I'm ever happy to see it. 50 hit charge gun gear. What? Uh... I might actually buy that. <laughs> right, Chad? It came with 5% dark. That's actually not bad. Couple of those, I guess. Put that away for later. I mean, I think it's better than the one I was using earlier. I think it's the first time I've seen a useful 50 hit in the store. I've seen 50 hits before. They're usually just trash garbage. It's better than... Oh, no, it's weaker than the other one that I have. But still, I mean, it's 5% dark. I'll keep it in case I make another character that needs to deal with... Uh... Oh, I don't need a 30 hit charge gun here. That's kind of a waste. I will withdraw money to go get a couple of these, actually. This is like the perfect item to give new players, potentially. All it costs is a little money. And charge gun here gives... how much roll ATP? 200-ish? It's not bad. Yeah, I'll put two of these away. I mean, obviously my 25 dark one is better, don't get me wrong, but... Still pretty good. Don't I want to restock anything while I'm here? Not really. Someone's doing Anguish 10 mag feeding, truly breaking the game's limits. I mean, isn't, isn't mag feeding already anguish? <laughs> Truth chat. Don't lie to me, you know it's true. Oh, that... That arrest laser that I have, what was that? Should probably identify this. Murphy says, I only, sh I only shopped a couple of clears to give like a three slot frame. Hmm. Come on game, give me a 50% real quick so I don't accidentally do this later. That's solid. Anguish send is just the real difficulty of mag feeding, exactly. Rip that Kapoe 20, I didn't feel like going back for you. Okay, so we'll get our money's worth. I did technically lose 120,000 in the run, but that's fine. Most of that went to charge gun year. Went to a good cause for new players. Or if I decide to make a Hugh cast in the future. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about that once a few more people trickle in. Speaking of which... Nice. So we'll do a few more of these. I'm assuming Chad is more or less just waiting on me. Oh, I see Jalandra. Oh, it's so close to Jalanda. It's like, oh, it's almost a Valkyrie profile reference. It was so close. I see Evolution Ultimate, Second Evolution 3. Third, six, anything further, Anguish 10. Damn, I need this Twin Blaze with Machine for sure. Even if it just counts like base ATP, like if we look at 830 and then it applies the Machine percentage to that. I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure how the Vault Op damage is calculated. For damage range, it's definitely the damage range, but like, how does full op determine it? Either way, machine percentage would be huge here. Potentially up to 500 more. Seven points per item, oof. So we'll get started in a moment. But anyway, I was talking about, uh... <laughs> in the future... Since more than one person has now brought this up, if it would be worth doing a challenge from 1 to 80 with just starting equipment, I definitely do not want to do this during any event, so it would have to be in like, I don't know, June or something. Mm. 
Right, but does it take the damage range or the flat number? Is what I'm asking, Murphy. So let's say Twin Blaze is 500. It's and I have 50% machine. Is it taking 550% or taking damage range at 50%? So I'm assuming it's the 500 plus machine percent based off what you just said. But we'll get started in a moment. We'll give people another moment to join if they want to join. So yeah, I got some moons. I can afford to sacrifice some to the mag gods. Again, it's one of those things where you just have to look it up. Like, I know it definitely takes ATP, but like the exact formula little fuzzy. I've only looked it up once before. Most of the time I've never had machine percentage, so it's just never been relevant for me. <laughs> I just had all zeroed items, sadly. But now it kind of matters, maybe. Okay. I'm assuming nobody else is joining us, so we'll do another one. I think we gave a good courtesy minute or so for people to join. Okay, it does it just like regular damage healing? Interesting. Thank you, Murphy. Uh, so I'm a lot more injured, which is good. Put out another Confuse Trap with the delay. I might get a kill off of this. Maybe if they focus the middle Bartle. Or not. Is he seriously going to live with 69 health? That is so sad. Okay, they did kill him. I was going to say, like, that that felt like I was getting robbed on that one. Like, come on. He's sitting at 69 for like six seconds, so I'm confused. Should not be allowed. Yeah, I imagine it doesn't take the... Exactly, I don't think it takes the combo damage. Thank you for verifying, though. One, two... Invincibility is triggering more. I mean, it felt like I was getting it 20% of the time, so 50-50 was failing me bad. But now that it's above 50-50, it's been triggering pretty often. I'm not wondering if I should just have Talesius at 55% in case I leave Synchro at zero. Just enjoy that base bonus being higher. I think that was too early. That wasn't though. Nice. I think I did that almost as early as possible because I was able to get two swings before it launched, which doesn't normally happen if I wait till it's targetable. Escape doll. Interesting. I guess that'll help for later. One, two, three. One day, chat. We'll see the rare slime. Oh, that was awkward. I missed my button press there. Time to fix Synchro. I salute you, Synchro. You died for no reason. Speaking of which, what is going on in this room? I mean, I'm okay with staying here a little longer, just put another confused trap, but just prefer not to get hit while doing it, that's all. There we go. So that done me a couple kills at least. For for the minor inconvenience. Oh, one. Oh, no, they died. They died. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I was worried I wouldn't get the kill there. So I got three extra kills for lingering in the room longer. Although I prefer not to have been hit in the face. See you soon, Murphy. Die 
eye fluids and antidotes? Gross. <sighs> don't like that tell I don't like that HP material being there. Let's leave that room. Telepi. Oh, thank you for the deal. Wow, I put the synchro at 40. It's now 100% of the time up. That is a vast improvement compared to the previous stream. They have Jaya aim here, but I can fix that with Jaya. Or this guy, I mean. Yeah, this should be good enough. No need to burn more money. I don't want to save that many seconds. No thanks. <laughs> Rather save my money. Oof. No items of interest drop. No moon atomizers, no star atomizers. Oof, no trimates. Brutal. I guess I could disc of them. You know, them lasering me is so rude, especially when I actually hit the other group. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, we got them all but one eliminated, I'll take that. The cannabins haven't been hit yet, so I'm not too far behind. Interest dropped. I have a mana made in case I get a safety scare for HP, but I should be good. I think with this passive health regen, I should be fine. That's such a good freeze trap timing. I love that so much. Come on, me. I'm just gonna slip through. Speaking of Bomberman music, that's very clearly Bomberman. Ooh, they remixed it into the other songs. Interesting. Battle mode. Good timing. Although if I'd been faster on the gear assault swap, I could have uh, dark flowed this boss. Although knowing me, I'm gonna get green orbed as I'm going for dark flow, and the game will just be like, nope. I mean, it did green orb in my defense. That works. Okay, get another escape dome back, maybe. I think I'll take the escape doll over the monomate, to be honest. Save in parameter a trip later, maybe. So if I get a good freeze trap here, should be able to kill both of them. And if not, I'll escape doll myself, so it doesn't matter. Goodbye. Ooh, I want nothing to do with them. Goodbye. Is 
Then I can put a confuse trap there and get some extra kills, I think. Nice. Maybe they'll kill each other. Unlikely. Oh, actually, maybe. Protect and parameter. Another moon atomizer. I can use that to feed the mag. Back up to 48%, not bad. I'll be up to five moon atomizers. I'm assuming in parameter will not die five times. I have faith in parameter. Not now I've escaped all for safety, which is nice. Put a freeze trap here, put a freeze trap here. Another freeze trap down, so I'm very good to escape. There we go. Then he can heal up, and then I'll just gear a soul in the next area. Yeah, there we go. Wow, mag invincibility triggering nearly every time. The reward is real. Look at my 12 HP. I feel like I'm a real hunter now. I took a greedy shot there because I had invincibility. Would not normally go for that at this HP total. Uh, this is a queen. Wow, it swapped right as I wanted to do that. That was unfortunate. I do want to hit a couple of these. I don't like that they're clumping on me, though. Need them to not do that for a minute. Thank you. Okay. I killed an okay number. I think there's maybe two I could have taken a better shot at. But I ended in a really good position, so I think that kind of makes up for it. I don't think Jack could blame me for that position. It was such a good end. Yeah, see how I'm missing occasionally? We need to fix that so I no longer miss. That 10 accuracy from remembering is going to be a big deal. If we're lucky, the boss will not go very far. Yeah, I clipped it. I'm just going to safety heal. Surprisingly, he didn't target me. Oh, I would have been able to dark blow that. Unfortunate. There we go. Parameter committed to the sacrifice. I'm committing. Fast phase. Man, rangers make life so easy. I'm just gonna output some DPS. That'll be my role. Yeah, see that? I got five strings of attacks out. The boss actually missed me? Wow. Okay. I'm not sure how that happened, but we'll take that. I've never seen the boss like get so close to me and just not hit. Oh, you dirty short cycler. Oh, you're a dirty short cycler. I'm going towards Imperimeter. Okay, I should be able to dodge the grants with that. Thank you, Calwin, for the follow. Hopefully you're doing well. Ooh, getting close to Bowie range. GG. What a nice run. I'm happy with that run. I didn't die while using Dark Flow. I had a dumb death in the caves, but it was kind of whatever. <laughs> That's to be expected when you walk around with 7 HP the whole time. GG. Boss drop money for me. Hey, sub 13 with the duo. Mm. I will take that all day. We'll feed the mag more synchro boosts. See, it's back up to 54%. 
So if I do accidentally die in the future, it shouldn't be too bad. So we're holding one of everything, so that way I don't have to worry about not picking things up. Oh, I forgot to deal with the defense materials, because we, we played a day early. I was planning on doing that tomorrow. Oh well, I'll have to live with that, I guess. Any fun items in the store? We did see a 50 hit earlier. Nope. Worth checking, though. We did get a 50 hit gun here from that earlier with charge. Say only a couple more runs and I'll be able to hit 179. One level away from Red Ring. Not bad. Way ahead of schedule. My goal was originally for Friday to be at uh, 179. So we'll see if anybody else is hopping in. The lobby is empty. Rip lobby. I guess it is a Tuesday. Not many people play late night Tuesdays. And for anybody that wants to hop in, we're in block two. Odra. Oh yeah, what is the forecast? Droids, females? That is fortuitous. Or I am both of this, this character. It says give me like three minutes. I guess we can wait a little bit. I guess while we're waiting, I might as well do... What would be fun to just walk around and kill on Red ID? I guess in theory it could just do ruins. And then we'll just tell the pipe out whenever Chris arrives. <laughs> nice try, Del Saber. You were dead the moment I put that trap. Yeah, I figure it's better than just waiting around for a third player. Might as well just get some kills. Let's see, look at that. We found a discovery man while waiting. In theory, if we managed to get to a sorcerer, something nice would happen. No hit? Oh, that's a shame. Then we'll play until Chris arrives. And that is the courtesy time limit for others looking to join. Hmm, yeah, they do seem to always drop weapons. I guess in theory that we could get some good drops with uh, percentages from that, since it is ruins. Oh, that is some goofy music. I think that's the final song on the soundtrack. Indeed it is. Goodbye Saturn, Bomberman, we hardly knew thee. So it's in the next soundtrack. I'm assuming over here is just items. Oh, actually it's not. There's more beyond this. But I will definitely do box checks. Oh, Chris has arrived. I guess we'll telepipe back out. Oh, actually, it's not Chris. My bad. It is Edward Enigma. I didn't look at the name. I saw the name. Then we'll keep going then. We'll wait for Chris. So feel, bring, feel free to bring whoever, Chris. We have a force. I mean, I'm just gonna keep killing while I'm waiting then. Oh, Chris is now here. Let's 
See, I saw blue, and I was like, I was trying to remember if you had named your blue phone in that, and I'm like, no, 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 no. It's definitely a word dingbo. I guess I don't really need to reset anything, honestly. I'll just repurchase the moons if I don't have them, you know? Back up to 60 synchro, not bad. I was gonna say, Chris is serious. He's like, I'm not earning XP in this run. I wanna kill falls. I have one mission only. Murder bot time. So you have two more of these, and then we'll decide, chat from there, what you would like to do. Because I want to make it fair. I mean, I'm assuming chat to some extent always wants red rings. If there's anything else you want to do, like episode 4 RBR, uh, technically could do Penumbral Surge, one of the other ones. Yeah, I'm gonna throw as many Confuse Trap Downs as possible, just for free kills. Should get a kill here. Even without the Zalor, one of them should die. Yeah, we got a free kill. A Ven Egg? Oh, it's in here. That's fine. I thought it was in the other room. I would have been annoyed by that slightly. It okay, lowered my HP a little bit. Rip, no invincibility. I tried. Synchro's not that low anymore, at least. I'll let team knock it out with rockets, and then I'll go finish it. Getting landed on is a very dumb way to die. I'll regen a little bit of HP for uh, surviving caves monsters. This might be good enough. Oh, I almost got it. I saw the HP bar glitch too early. Spin in circles with my pointy sword. Our material, I probably want that. Three. Now the slime must die. Okay, I think I have enough HP to survive a single melee hit. I just have to get through this room. This is like the tough part for me. Okay, that'll work. Let chat kill these lilies. Again, we should be killing so fast. Chat should just do whatever they want at this point. <laughs> sort of like how I just paused trick through them. Evan Striker with 20 hit. Nice, nice. Because otherwise you're just waiting at the door with me. There's no point to doing that when we have uh, Easter eggs we could get. Come on. There we go. Chat waiting anyway. I was gonna say, you can just get free kills while you're waiting. Just taking parameters, telepipe, that's all. Murder those lilies. Get those eggs. Telepipe up. You can heal me if I want. I I'm not gonna go for a dark flow here. Where's Chris? Oh, there we go. There's my invincibility. Walk a little closer this time, so I actually hit with Disco. There we go. 
Okay, with this many people, I'm not even gonna use the charge portion of Jaya. We have so much damage being dealt. It should just be GG. Yeah, especially with Jelen, or not Jelen, with Zalor 30. I really don't need to burn that much Masada at all. Between two Rangers and a Hunter, it's over. I will gladly feed the mag a little more. Nice confused trap. I'm gonna put one on the other side as well. We might as well just kill this first group while we're waiting for Red Sinnoh to die. Honestly. I'm gonna get a couple pot shots in here to speed it up. Oops. I thought that was a little greedy, but let's go. At least by the time that the cannabin dies, I should be out of that room, which I am. Yeah, so team's killing the cannabin there, but I'm like right behind them, so it's not too bad. So even if they were to activate here, I'll still be there in time, because Sinnoh Red takes a while to spawn. I'm like maybe a second off of where I want to be, but that's not too bad. I'm still here for the damage, just not here for the freeze drown. But with this many characters here, it really doesn't matter. So we're gonna go for the freeze trap. Oh, that's a bit awkward. I'm gonna slip through the gap where I can't. Oh boy. <laughs> That could have been much worse. Yeah, one day we'll get Chris one of these. <laughs> if he doesn't want to spread needle, when Blaze is your friend, then you just twirl with your magic fire stick until everything dies. I would like a magic fire stick. They're very annoying to drop. Like, I've been hunting them and they just do not drop. I technically do it every time I do a box run. It is so painful how few times it spawns. Because it comes from episode 2. Lower my HP fast enough there. I should have garrisoned a little before combat. I can very easily remove like 400. It's very hard for me to remove 800 if I'm twin blazing. I'm trying to think if anything else drops it. I think Worm Boss might drop it sometimes on one one specific ID. Otherwise, I usually get it from um, or try to get it from Worpos because they pop up in the box run. Ooh, sorry I'm out of the drop, but I don't have space. I can safely say we have not heard these specific Bomberman soundtracks. I can safely say that we have definitely heard the NES soundtrack before and the 64. I think when we were doing random NES games, we did the first Bomberman soundtrack a while back. I take these items. And we're Enigma's teleporting away. That should be fine. Let's not get hit in the face. I'm gonna put a freeze trap down. Another freeze trap down. Really fast kill. Oh, yeah, drive by telepipe, I did. Is that a monolith? It is a monolith. Come 
Oh yeah, I'm not sure how much Chris has been playing with uh, the new strats versus ruins. I've been leaving myself at 8 HP on this fight, <laughs> back to back. Chris and I have been doing a lot of dueling offhand, but I don't normally go for the low HP strat here when I'm playing with him. It means if I get touched at all, I just die. Just can happen. My team's actually cleared up pretty much everything. I barely have to do anything here. I go for like one of the far ones. But I can't go too far because I gotta get back to the right spot for later. So I think we did actually get a full clear there, which is pretty good. I think one of these is targetable. Oh, I couldn't see it on the camera. Thought I had more distance. That sucked. So close. It was like right behind me, but I couldn't tell if it was like to the right or straight back, and it was to the right, so I got hit. Sucks. Unfortunate. Rip the low HP strat right at the end. We're lucky I get to take advantage of this more. I was gonna safety heal. Kinda worth it. Oh. Or the boss will just hold still. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I'll take it. I mean, if boss doesn't want to do an attack, that's fine. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking a twin brand. I'm sorry. It comes from Morphos on Sky ID and Miracles, aka the horrible murder plants on red and yellow. Wow, that was a fast falls. Even with me missing Dark Flow. Technically, you can also get it on the zoo route from Black Paper Deals if you do normal. I don't really want to do a 1 in 20 with those, though. GG. Wow, sub 12. Pretty good. If I had hit Dark Flow, I think that would have been like 11 15. That's fine. I think of interest there. Chat helping me go money positive, which is always nice. Let's feed this thing more, more moons. Let's back up to 67%. 50 hit shock caliber. Sadly, probably not worth unless the other attributes are really good. Sadly. Because it's pretty easy to get a triple 50. Like 50 hit, 50 dark, 50 machine, for example. So you need one with like significantly higher hit percentage to justify using using more spheres on like a barely better item. For the inventory... Actually, I guess I have to go back to the shop for the moon atomizers. It's like getting a skipping it, but I really shouldn't. Also, wow, the, the XP difference when I don't kill a boss is quite something. I only got 113 on that run. Yeah, only 40 dark. If it was like... If it was like 60 dark, 50 AP, so would have been like, ooh, maybe. Oh, I thought that said 50 hit for a second. Nothing of interest in the shop, I'll move on. So there we go, we went money positive by just using berserk items and dying. So sad that I didn't level. And I don't think I'm gonna level on this one either. It's unfortunate. Even with those extra kills. Unless chat really helps me with extra kills. I need to somehow get 7,000 experience, which is a lot of kills. I mean, it's doable, but... There you go, Chris. We could be doing red ID 
tower or something with miracles. Your favorite. Mmm. It's so fun. This is called The Beach. There is nothing about this soundtrack to me that sounds like Beach. I'm just saying, chat, like... Not even entered on my list. Uh, I think I'm gonna greed kill a few of these. I think I just need the XP. I'm just gonna straight up kill these. Team's got the other ones. items, then we'll get going. The greediest of kills in that room chat. I might even kill the lilies. I have to get 8,000 experience somehow, or I have to steal a boss kill. One of the above. Because I think you get 60,000 for killing the boss versus 40,000. It does make a difference. But it makes more sense for me to just get extra kills along the way. Or if chat ends up confused trapping some of the targets. We're killing the lilies, that would probably give me enough. If we killed like all the lilies in the cave, might be enough. Oh, almost got the glitch, so close. Hmm, what are the odds this is gonna be a PD? I feel like kinda low. Starting to move to the next area. Oh, power material, I gotta go back for that. It's actually worth it. I wouldn't go back for a defense material, but power material I will. See, if it was slime duping giving 4,000 extra XP, it's not gonna be enough. We're gonna do one, two, three. Ooh, chat. Hold them that way, that's awkward. I'm gonna take longer to kill them now. I think I still got this though. I'm going on the killing spree, chat. I want that XP. Okay, I killed you. Killed the dragon. And I could go to the next room. Then I'll probably kill, like, a whole wave of guild chicks, maybe two. I don't think that's too greedy. One, two, three. Unless I don't take too long here, should be fine. Welcome back, Murphy. This should be all of them, let's go. Oh, one was missed. I mean, it might die there, if we're lucky. Nah, it didn't die. Unfortunate, telepipe. I don't feel like going back for one slime. We got more than enough kills on the other ones. Unfortunate. Did not get invincibility. I'm gonna have to burn healing here. So it'll probably target me. Hopefully you're doing well, Murphy. <laughs> Instead he used minus 16. I did charge disc of that one ball or that one room. Okay, so we are definitely gonna kill these guild chicks. I need to get 74,000 more XP somehow. So killing them manually will also give me slightly more XP.
Oh, they got attack down? That's unfortunate. All right, I'm going for the greediest clear here. I'm going to double confuse trap this. Chat's already in the next room. I gotta go. That's my rule of thumb. If I see stats happening to them, I gotta go. Because otherwise, I'm making the team wait too much. Hmm. Will Confuse Trap be good enough here? Probably not. These enemies kind of suck at hitting each other, sadly. Oh, the body block stopping me from reaching Sinnoh room. That's kind of unfortunate, actually. Should still be fine. Hope they enjoy their little confused trap haven. Really? Both of them jump backwards at the same spot? I'm getting trolled in real time. Uh oh. Chat went on ahead. That's fine. Then I'll just kill the Barans. We're gonna play the little dodging mini game with this Barans. We're good. <laughs> Don't mind me, chat. Just dealing with double, like triple brands. What is I going through? We're good. Team just gunned it, apparently. One, two, three. Put up for later. Sixty-eight thousand. So I'll get forty thousand from that boss. Maybe that's enough. I think team gave me a lot of XP with those extra kills. I think we might be good. This should level me now. Well, speaking of which, I need a Garrisol. didn't die, and that's all that's important. That's why I leave myself with just enough HP. So I'm actually in perfect Dark Flow range for this boss. I wasn't sure if it was a triple monitor cycle. This is going to be brutal for that boss. Come here, Bob. <laughs> right, Jack? Come here. So he I need to get 30,000 experience between here and the next room. Let's see if it happens. Didn't get the bots kill there, sadly. How much XP we get? Ooh, 49,000. That's not gonna be enough. Damn, that sucks. That is so sad. I don't really want to start a TTF for like a thousand H thousand XP. that this room was started before I got in. That's unfortunate. I didn't think it was that slow into the room. Let's go this way. Full clear ruins. I mean, maybe it's worth going at least to spread needle. I definitely want to shoot these for XP. I need to somehow get 7,000 experience, but I don't think it can happen. I think there's just physically not enough enemies. Even if I wanted to go for it, it won't happen. We're gonna confuse trap them. Get a free kill. Yeah, I don't think it's worth going. I I can't get. They're, they're not worth that. If it was episode four, that would have made sense. But even if I full clear, I don't think I could get five thousand XP from this. They're only worth like three hundred per. Right, so we're in a gear assault. Oh, I forgot nobody healed. I forgot nobody healed. I'm so used to people healing there. I didn't even think about it. That was out of habit. Like, in my defense, that has happened every other run. Gotta burn my HP a little more. Uh, this might be good enough.
Uh, I think the problem is that I see who they're heat seeking. Oh, don't run towards me. So as long as I avoid that player, I should be good. Hold on to nothing near me, sadly. That one's dead. That one I can kill. One behind me will die, so there's no point to targeting it. Uh, I'm in a really good position here as long as the heat seekers don't find me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think there were 23 enemies left to kill with how much was in there. Especially since they were uh, claws at most at the end. I'll just try to go for the falls kill. I sadly didn't get the other boss kills, which would have saved me time. Uh, I'm just gonna full heal. Have to go to the first room and kill the bell rose. Oh yeah, yeah. It uh, it's not gonna happen. That's what I'm saying. It's it doesn't make sense. Like, I need 5,000 Murphy, and we already killed almost everything already. There was only the, uh, the Chargers, the Claws, and eight Arlens. Plus two Indy Bellrose. I don't think that's enough. I didn't get the kill there. GG. Oh, oh well. Eleven thirty-six, pretty good timer. Yeah, downside is confused. Confused gives you some XP, but not full XP. Since they kill each other. I mean, it is free XP if you're not gonna spend the time to kill them. It's fine. So what does the team want to do now? Actually. Be fine. 50 hit Disco. Not up that adventurous there, sadly. Yeah, I got its synchro sort of back up at least. And I got to Dark Flow the boss. Yeah, the force makes it easier to clear. I mostly just have to go for the ones that are on the outside. So it makes my job as a hunter much easier. So I just have to pick off like the literal edge case ones. All the ones in the center will die inevitably. Doesn't make sense for me to focus them. Oh, I don't hear anything from chat. What did chat want to do next? I'm assuming the RBR is still the same as earlier. Yeah. Lost Charge Vulcan is a an experience. I mean, I guess I'll do one more since chat doesn't have any suggestions. Let's see, it is drop rate. Is there anything worth going for drop rate? See, the I'm fine for anything doesn't help. <laughs> I'm like, what are you guys looking for? I'm only looking for like six items in the game total. One of them is red ring. When Dango is here, we'll do parasitic gene flow, unless team really needs it, or Toriel. Otherwise, tower is like, uh, I mean, I, I, I would like a V502. Do I feel like doing tower? Not really.
Otherwise, it's just kind of the standard Cannon Rouge, Galatine, Heaven Striker. I think those are the only other items at this point I'm hunting. Nice hit stuff for PGF. Interesting. Yeah, we got to get you the Twin Blaze at some point. It might just be easier to trade it at this point. As I said before, I, I killed probably about 400 Morphos. I haven't seen it. I don't do episode two like super, super often, but it's to the point that I'm getting to the point I should probably have seen it by now, especially since a lot of those Morphos kills were purely on Anguish like three and above. So it's not even like normal rare rates. That feeling when you need 223 to level and one barbel lived. Check your head chat. Horrible gate kept me on that uh, XP. He's better than me. Yeah, see the thing is like, uh, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be interested in Seal J Sword. Like right now the answer is no, I would not do those hunts. We are doing a Geno 1975 runs, technically at least. Since uh, Red ID, whenever we kill Sinnoh Red, drops it so I'm interested in that as an uber rare because it's something I just happen to do anyway and then uh psycho wand I think those are the, all the items I'm looking for period oh it died gg wow chat killed it so well there I didn't even bother attacking it was already dead gg I played Nice level up. Four attack power, interesting. Slowly but surely getting up to 500 defense. I'm almost tanky. Oh, I am never hunting Heaven Punisher. No thank you. No thanks. Oh, Rip Slime. You were too close to the spawn. Yeah, that's the downside. If people are too close to the slime, they pull them from me. And if they don't then move forward, the slime just... I can't save the slime. So just be careful if you pull the slime. Make sure you pull the slime really far if you do that. What drops Heaven Punisher? Blue ID. If there's anything else that drops it, I've never done those hunts. It's very infamously known for the Hilda Bear Blue. I'm sure there is like yellow ID, green ID, like, oh, if you fight Maricus, you could get like a 1 in 12,000. I'm sure those exist. I'm sure I've even played IDs where it has it, but it's not something I normally go for. It's one of those ones where I'm sure I've done it on yellow or white ID, some alt hunt. Yeah. So I'm going to drop a telepipe, and I'll tell you exactly what arbitrary episode 2 ones probably do it. But yeah, I only know it for the blue hunt. Everything else is just kind of arbitrary. Let's see. I cannot read that and also play the game at the same time. Let's move this over. There we go. So, drops from Viridian, Sinnoh Red, which we've technically done TTFs of before. Drops on Green ID, Del Beater, which I don't think we've ever done before. You have the Blue ID, Hilda Taurus, Sky ID, Sinnoh Spiggles, which in theory could happen if you're doing a Seal J Sword run, depending on what you're hunting with it. There's the Purple ID, Miracles. I knew it would be in there at some point. Uh, pink and red are the Sinnoh Red and Sinnoh Zells. Orange is also Del Beater. It also drops his yellow ID from Crimson Assassin, which is funny. Which I think we could get an Endless. And then Sinnoh Blue on White ID. Like again, it's just like, we, we have played with it before. I think in Endless, we got it, uh... I think Diz got it on Endless when we played the one time. 
Like, sadly, sadly, Heaven Punisher has dropped on stream, and it was not on Blue ID. I, I will let you know. It was, it was definitely clipped on our stream. So go back and see that if you didn't see it. So that came from, I think, Crimson Assassin Episode 1. Yeah, it's one of those ones where, like, it will be an off-rare, but it's never something I actively hunt. Like, I'll play Yellow ID Endless more for, like, Excal, V101, and generically good items versus specifically Ubers. There we go. I'll play that enemy. Uh-oh, Chris is really far behind. Chris, I'm going to recommend you take a telepipe because I think it's just going to get too messy for you. Even for me, it got a little dicey. He is walking towards the brands. I'm going to say rip Chris. Maybe he'll get through. Oh, he, they were still frozen. Ooh, lucky. I did put a safety freeze trap down. Maybe that helped. No pipe. See this? <laughs> Chris is trolling. The one time I go back and put the telepipe, he's like, I got the pipe. Then when he needs it, not there. I'm getting trolled. Mm-hmm. He did a little damage there, better than nothing. I'll interrupt it if it goes here. You know what? I'm gonna gear assault a little more. There we go. Oh, miss menu. 100% forget to buy more pipes. I very rarely forget it. It's just so integral in strategy. But it's like, if you're the person that pipes, you always know because you pipe last. That's just, that's just my methodology. If you don't have pipes on you, it's because you're not used to uh, piping in general. The only time I'll forget it is if I'm doing single player versus multiplayer. Oh, with the lore, that's a one shot. That's funny. GG. There we go. In theory, in tennish runs, this character will finally be 180. I'm gonna hold still here. I don't think it makes sense to move. Let's put a freeze trap in the corner. Put a freeze trap in the middle. Should be good enough. <sighs> oh, I got the. Oh. I got the thing where like I dodged it, but then like because I targeted, I walked slow. If I hadn't walked slow there, I would have lived. I should have paused in between the runs. That was slow reflexes from being tired, sadly. Oh well, we fixed it. Our synchro, anyway. Because we almost ran past his arm completely, even while slowed. It should be good. I'm not sure how I feel about the soundtrack. Very little of this screams Mega or Bomberman to me. Like, if you played this, I would never identify this as Bomberman. It kind of reminds me of, like, a predecessor of, like, the ultra-edgy Xbox Bomberman, but I know it's not this one. 
Like, if you told me that, that's th that is the game I would have thought of, for sure. We're doing fine so far. I'm gonna equip this preemptively. It should just be over, yeah. Shot an okay number of them. More importantly, I'm mostly in position. I just gotta hold forward a bit. We'll take that. Yeah, I definitely don't want to do middle head strats if I'm with like two people, if I'm only with one other person. But when I'm with that many people, I don't think it matters. Yeah, like, nothing about this soundtrack screams Bomberman to me. I don't even hear, like, beats from the original. Like, the other one I would have definitely thought was Bomberman, especially with the battle theme. Oh, my bad. I thought the boss died, so I didn't bother comboing. It's just, like, normal heavy. Nothing. So much damage. Look at the boss's health. It's at 6,000 on the first phase? Wow, the deletion. Holy. Were people. What were people using? <laughs> that was 15,000 right at the beginning. That was brutal. Wow, doesn't matter if it's short cycled, it's actually over in one. Yash Minikov, nice, nice. Eleven forty-one. I'm surprised that was not faster than our other runs, but I guess we waited on Brands. Honestly, that false fight was just—it was disgusting, chat. <laughs> like that was just—that was an honest deletion of that boss. Holy! It felt like we were fighting Olga Flow that went so fast. <sighs> Can't quite get items yet. Unfortunate. Maybe by the time I go back to the shop, it'll let me have it. Any 50 hits? Nope. There we go. Good timing. See that chat? That's called feeling the timer in your heart. <laughs> I wasn't that far off, honestly. That was like, what, three seconds from the feet timer? That was not that bad. And I realized I, I needed to spend more time, so I didn't go to the item menu right away. Worth it. Hmm. Let's see what Chris posted earlier in review, if I want to switch the run. Well, we're doing a lot of red ring. Frozen shooter, can do any time. Wouldn't do it in drop rate up for sure. We're doing red ring Ajito. We're also trying to do Lava's Cannon. I know Chris was looking for Lava's Cannon. Technically, every time we slime dupe, it leads to Lava's Cannon, but we haven't seen a single rare slime, which really sucks. Um... I mean, I guess if the chat wants to do, uh... No, we'll do. We'll do, we'll do some respective tomorrows, just so we mix it up a little bit from TTF. Although I'm sure other people will be sad that that's what we're switching to. I'm gonna bring in my yellow ID character. So this character is XP, good enough. I'm bringing in a, uh, raw cast. Since he also needs to hit 180. So that way I'm sticking true to my guns, where I have characters that are very, very, very close to getting 180. So I think by Friday she'll hit 180, and he's maybe gonna hit 178 by Friday? That's also not too bad. And he's nearly max ATP, finally. Sticking with Rockcast if we're doing that, that's fair. 
I mean, with the force, this should go really fast, honestly. Two raw casts and a force, just GG. I figured the ult rare that I'm looking for is not Parasitic Gene Flow. I do want a Galatine. So I figured we'd at least get some Galatine in, which I'm sure nobody would be sad about getting. So let's let's review all the rares that you could potentially get from this run, just so that people are aware of why we switch these IDs every now and then. Let's go to episode two and read some stuff out. So from the start of the run, we have nothing of interest in Temple. Temple is like the deadest of dead, like seriously, unless we want the sigh of a god from Love Rappy or whatever, <laughs> which won't happen during the event. Um, this get Brain Man from Pan Arms if it splits. Otherwise, Daylight Scar from the Barans. Lavis Cannon from that one Del Saber. Technically, it's a Lavis Cannon run. Then you could get a uh, Twin Blaze from Miracle. Too bad there's none in this run. Scroll further down. Sadly, there's also not a Gibbles, which would have given a Lavis Cannon. I believe Spiegels show up in the run. It's either a Barrel or a Spiegel. We'll double check. And otherwise, we could Galatine. And finally, for the Sinozoas, which we do fight a couple of, uh, we could potentially get Zombas from them, which are a good melee weapon. Stink Frame, if it rolls well, from the Dalam Darl, one of the squid types. I think it's the darker of the squids, or the purple one, or whatever it is. It's pretty good. Otherwise, then Parasitic Gene Flow. So it's got like mixed rares. I think if we did like Jungle Yellow, Jungle Yellow is actually not too bad, but obviously not as exciting as like potentially whiter Pink ID. So yeah, if it is a Spiegel in the other area, then I think it's worth doing. Otherwise, if we're playing Blue ID and it's a Barrel, then we get a V501 alternate chance by doing the Hope Leave check. Three barrels. Oh, is it three? I'm thinking about that. That doesn't seem... Unless... Maybe they are different types? Because there's exactly two in the ult path in RT. Then, then when you're in the other place, I don't really care about those. A little further forward. Oops, I don't have the right weapon equip. And another side. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen that other one then. Interesting. Because I was trying to figure out how to get to three. So if we were doing blue ID, it would be worth it more. That's a bit of a shame then. So I guess that makes sense to check in blue ID. I mean, I'm still going to check that room for boxes. Don't get me wrong. That's good to know. So yeah, very small chance Lava's Cannon. He dies so fast. disrespecting them. <laughs> Is it necessary? No. Do I enjoy it? Yes. There we go. I made him hold his arms up in the air so he could get hit by hell. To prove team's accuracy to max on the moth fist. Make sure I hit the rat piece here, because that is Avenic chances. So if you stick to the far right, by the way, Chris, you can just dodge all the traps. Oh no no no! I was gonna say yeah. Don't don't worry about that. I remember the the tower path. I don't I don't think I'm interested in that. 
Although it is, wait, it's, is it, is it guaranteed five miracle? Actually, that's not too bad. If that's all that's in the side path, I remember it exists. Maybe we can activate it once to see what it is. I don't recall what yellow gets in tower since I don't normally do that portion. Let's learn together. In tower, they get literally nothing. Yeah, let's not do that on yellow ID. <laughs> Blue ID also sucks. Yeah. Unfortunate. I could double check Miracle. It would be worth doing for the Miracle if they have a good Miracle. But outside of that, I would say probably not. Yeah, LNK 38 Combat. Is that the one that I think it is? Oh, it is the sh Ugh, It is the Gatling Gun. Hmm. Yeah, Gibble, Gibbles is actually good. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it once. Gib Gibbles has Lava Scannon. We just talked about that. Gaigui is whatever. Del Lily gives nothing. The Ilgil, Epsilon, etc. are not interesting unless you want to do uh, bonus parts for weapons. Sadly, we did not get the best pattern. Okay, I'm going to go hide in the corner. I'm gonna aim diagonal for the human players. Chris is about where the paralysis thing appears. We're gonna just try to time our shots here to kill the paralysis before it hits anybody. So we're gonna get one more chance. It's very important we time that for the human players. Then I'm gonna to go to the opposite side of the raft briefly. And then I'm gonna aim at the middle. Hopefully I line up here. And that's a, oh, see that? It aimed right there. I feel cheated. Chat saw that. I am dead center. It went to the right for some reason. I got cheated. Anyway, I'm going to be in the corner here since that's where it's weak. So arise and become murdered. Whoa, that was very glitchy. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll do it for the gibbles. I'll double check what Gaigui gives. I imagine nothing of interest. Yeah, just Sky Gui's body. <laughs> Alright, so let's do the... Speaking of special, we gotta go in for the Special Olympics here. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna prove how, how good we are. Oops, not good enough. So we gotta line up with the bolt. So Chris is too far over. I think I'm too far over again. Team is too far to the right. Oh, didn't do it again. Let's try this again. I can't get the camera angle to behave. Cameraman, please. This is closer. This might be centered. Yeah, there's no sense to not being against the edge of the raft. It just makes you take longer to get to the next area. I think if I didn't adjust it, I still would have missed. So yeah, you got to put your right foot on the rivet of the other one. Controller handicap, yeah. That was not a smooth control. But honestly, it is kind of worth it, because if you end up like 10, 8, like even just like 8 steps behind, that could be very bad actually in the run. So we're just holding forward once we get to the edge there to speed it up. So we're going to get a, a single Lava Cannon chance. How did that not hit the switch? That's fine. Oh, uh, you know what? I just realized. I'm a raw cast. He can't just hit with power attack. I gotta use normals on the dub switches and stuff. That's so sad. I'm so used to that raw moral life. One day champ. He'll have a hit percentage cannon rouge. Okay, here's our Lava's cannon chance. I heard the rare drop and I was confused. Whatever, already done. Twin Crab asking, what soundtrack are we on? We are on the... 
Which Bomberman game is this officially? Atomic Bomberman soundtrack. Ruffy says, good news, you don't need to use power attack to kill them. Your normal is enough ATP. Oh, does it? That's interesting. Rip that Barans, though. Rip the Uber chance. Give me one second as I pause and restart. There's only one song left on the soundtrack, though. So, yeah. Let's see if I remember how to activate tower. I think I have to... I, I don't remember if I have to hit the monitor in the Del Beater room or not. I know there's the hidden switch beyond that. That, at minimum, I think I have to hit. And I get invincibility. That's so sad. I think it's not even that bad. GG. Rest in peace, Atomic Bomberman soundtrack. I'm looking up one more soundtrack. Sorry for not moving. These soundtracks are so short. This is unfortunate. RT is such a long quest, so I'm like, I kind of need more than 20 minute soundtracks. Unfortunate. Anyway, let's proceed forward. I have to look up yet another one at some point. I think I mentioned this before. Maybe one day we'll revisit Bomberman 64. That's probably the only 64 game I thought about ever going back to. I love that I'm just straight up charge arming. Like, I just don't care. <laughs> just like, I'm not even Vulcaning chat. I'm just like, you know what? There's two of them. Team isn't killing them instantly. I might as well just kill them. Ooh. Wait, how did I miss the 118%? Enemy mobility, please. His accuracy is not great, but it's not that bad. I got cheated. Alright, so once we kill these back two, then I go into the middle for the Marillas. I'm gonna kill these. Like, oh, you think I forgot about you? I know you're back here. I've had to walk back for you before. I'm gonna move towards the middle. Maybe I'll get a charge walk and kill. Unlikely if there's hell. I think I'll still kill the other enemy for the hell cleave check. How's my escape doll count looking? Got two. Okay. I'll probably need to heal before I do that. Because those things do hit for a lot if I let them. Oh, Chris with the hell gun. Nice. Something funny about seeing like this big bulky robot in this little teeny gun. It's like the noisy cricket or something. Game, please. Why do you not want to target it? Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes, chat, yeah, those destructible objects. Game does not want to hit it. Yeah, it's a barrel. Okay. So blue ID would get V501 from that, which is fair. So it's definitely worth doing those checks if I play Huna Roll going forward. Okay. We're gonna let chat deal with that a little bit. I'm just gonna hang here, get another soundtrack open for later. Since these soundtracks are just not long enough, sadly. If it was like an hour 40 plus, I'd be happy, but yeah, 30 minute soundtrack, not gonna cut it. Let's go forward.
Uh, we're stage selecting into the boss. Time to bazooka. Nice. Yeah, I always like to turn to the right there just to get a more guaranteed shot on the boss. Oh, that is so rude. That tornado is so bad for me. Move over here. Yeah, I knew we would do that. I'll cleave something. Bomberman 64 is great music. Oh, what even just hit me then? Is it the edge of the tornado? It was before his lightning even came down I got hit. That was awkward. Ready the Ape Escape soundtrack? A little bit. Hopefully you're doing well, Hulk Cleave and Twin Crab. Oh, look at that, a Galatine. Nice. Did it come with hit? Or machine? If it came with machine, that's fine. Then you got your zap stick. Uh, still pretty good. At least you don't have to unlock it. That is the plus side. Has been lurking for you, Switch game, just been busy. No worries, I'll clear. Yeah, I remember in Bomberman 64 customizing the character. I could see Chan having a lot of fun with that. I think there's like a pirate hat and stuff like that in it. It's been a while. So let's see if I remember how to unlock a uh, tower. Hmm. Yeah, you gave him like a hat, a cape, and legs, I think. And then there are two accessories, if I remember correctly. But it has been a very long time since I played that. I mean, I think at this point it's been literally more than 20 years. Yeah, I'm curious what the little console does. I know you can interact with it in the Del Beater room. Why not do anything? Oh, I remember this place. All the water. It's like... Blue Resort or something. Game. There we go. I was doing very small micro adjustments and the game was not... Not letting me turn. It was like, okay. Definitely was aiming at the middle there. Hit Ogata. Interesting. Okay, so it is it is required though. Ooh, somebody doesn't know about the positioning for that. Okay, reminder team, go hard right. Go towards the console and start fireballs like around here. Oh, the console got used. Yeah, I stand about where Chris is normally. If you put out a Gafoe and then you freeze trap slash frozen shooter in that direction, you'll always hit the Del Beater. And it's tower before the boss, right? If we do it that way. I've done it maybe two or three times before, but it's definitely not something I've done on stream in a long time, if ever. Because that was back before when I was just learning, like when I was learning RT was probably the last time I did it. Power than boss, cool. So I might as well just show it off. Oh, Chari killed that one. There we go.
Goodbye, box. Good enough. Uh oh, somebody set these off. Yeah. I recall like a big a big appeal of the Bomberman 64 game I would say over like the standard ones is that you had to hunt for the pieces of of equipment. So like each level had x amount of hidden items. I would replay the stages a lot trying to find them. Some of them are pretty well hidden, some are super obvious. So some of it required platforming or using certain like bounces or charge bombs to make sure you hit. Oh, I'm gonna go back. Yeah. Look at us go. We. Is that all that's back here? Oh, that's funny. Why even bother? <laughs> but, but, but why, though? Unless there's, like, another hidden thing back there that I missed. Genuine question. Yeah, like, why have a healing circle one room before the boss? What's the point? It's not like you can recover traps, and you can't use magic on the boss anyway. Seriously, what was the point of that? Like he says there should be a teleport at a control tower. Oh. I'm not sure. Was there a prompt that's supposed to happen when you touch the console? I didn't touch the console. I think Chris did. But I don't know what he selected. Yeah, I'm not- Chris might not have selected the other option if it gave something. Let me go back. Yeah. Because I saw him walk up to it, I thought he did the hand animation, which is why I didn't touch it. Let's go back for it. Oh, you didn't touch the console at all? Oh, because I saw you walk all the way in the corner for it. Because you, you beat me to that room, so I thought you touched it. Oh well. Let's go back. It's a shame I can't telepipe though. I did want to show it off. Oh, you were just acknowledging it was there? Oh, okay, I misunderstood. Again, I'm very tired, so like when I thought you went to it, I just assumed you touched it. And I thought you maybe it was just like your walking animation where you went from like holding the gun to moving it. I'm assuming I could go back. Check and build meter in the meantime, at least. Because I went to go use it and I didn't get a prompt. That's why I got confused. Do I have to be like very literally in front of it for it to work? Oh, now it'll prompt. Friendly display is closed. That's why I don't... I don't think it normally says that if I'm the first player, though. That's why I'm thinking I didn't touch it first. We'll go back and verify. Because I thought, I thought the first time you touch it, chat can correct me if I'm wrong, I thought it asks you a question where it says, like, do you want to open and you have yes or no as your choice? 
I thought you had a prompt. And now it says close. Unless you have to do it before you get to that point. If so, that's kind of sad. Take one of these. We hit the barrier. So we could take the hidden path if we wanted to. Yeah, because I didn't get the question there. So I, I don't think I was the first person to ask it. So I guess we'll have to do it again, unless it unless that somehow triggered it. So I'll do a brief look. Sorry about this, Chan. But I'm convinced I'm not was not the first person to touch it, because I went to go use it and it wasn't selectable. Whereas that time it was. Try once. Just want to see if anything changed in here. I don't think it did. Nope. Okay. Oh well. At least the force is building meter. Okay, we're gonna try this again, and I'm gonna make sure I'm the first person to talk to it. See, so yeah, I think somebody selected no. Okay. Bring our charge Vulcan in, and then we'll be good to go. So I'm going to say using twins once I'm in here. Unless it's something like you can't use it in the middle of combat, maybe? That's why I couldn't do it. I'm just trying to think why it wasn't targetable when I walked over earlier. Because I was definitely within range. Because I, I practically physically touched it. And I know you could target it much sooner than that. Maybe that was it. Maybe I have to wait for the enemy clear to press it. So I'll do the same thing I did last time, but make sure before we teleport to touch it. At least the boss kill will go quick. So we'll do a couple of these. I don't think this character will level before Friday. Should not be able to one combo a final boss. Mm. I was gonna say, say, say that to uh, the dragon boss on hard mode. He basically got one comboed. I didn't even get to complete my rotation to class strikes and he died. Just dead that fast. I don't even think we got to his like major mechanic. That was a little early. I'm surprised I didn't trigger his punish, but we'll take that. Like I did wait a little bit, but it was kind of like right on the edge. <laughs> dead already? Dead already indeed. Parameter is done for the night. Thank you for joining us in Parameter. Oh, sadly nothing. Take the money though. So I'll do a couple more. Are there people that want to hop in? Murphy's offering to come in. Thank you, Murphy. Oh no, not Gabarda. Ooh, Murphy's mag feeding. What kind of mags are you making, Murphy? <laughs> 47 hours. Thank you, game. Appreciate the accurate claw.
So we'll try this again. But at least it's good to know that we can't go back. The way I view it is it's just a learning experience. I so rarely do tower there. Armor Man came out in 1997. That was probably the year I played it. <laughs> it's just like, it is. it has been that long, chat, to be honest with you. Just finishing off some min-max mags for my characters. Nice, nice. If not 97, I played it in 98. Chris needs to step away for two minutes, no problem. So we'll wait a couple minutes for people to join for RT. Close this, don't need this. So apparently the SS requirements for the quest have no more than four deaths in under 40 minutes. Yeah, that's not a problem. I know about the green ring. Oops, sorry, I think the music muted itself for some reason. Let me back it up slightly. Welcome, Chris. I didn't realize there was a side quest you could do here. I know about the green ring where you can trade in stuff from the love check and towards the future. Maybe we'll do one of those just because... Like, in theory, if all four players were near each other, they would give themselves 30 ATA. Ooh, imagine doing Respective tomorrow and your reward for doing well is Custom Barrier. That's kind of, that's kind of terrible. Like, it's a common drop even on very hard. Like, this is not hard to get. I mean, I guess if you somehow did it on normal, it would be impressive to get early. But not exactly something I would do hunts for. Okay, so we'll start up again, since it seems like we have everybody here. If there's anybody that wants to hop in, we got one free slot. Switch to Vulcan, give chat a moment due to stream delay, then we'll get started. Yeah. It's just like, but why though? So I, I guess you just collect the orbs as you go. We'll initiate a cutscene involving Leo Grahart. I don't know who that is. Oh well. So technically, we can just activate all the side options. I don't know if I really want to do tower with just three people though. I mean, I guess if, as, if it's not like a huge amount of waves, I don't really care. Like, if it's like the quest we were playing earlier, it's fine. If it's literally like four murder flowers and cross formation, I'm just gonna be sad. There's a soldier. Is this the person you talk to to initiate? 
or they mean like over here. I was just curious. Oh, maybe it means this person. Nope. I'm not sure who they mean by that, honestly. Oh, I, I don't know the PSO lore at all. I'll just move on. I'm not sure who it was talking about for the quest initiation. Unless it's like you literally, unless it's like you literally go back now to start it. But I, I don't feel like doing that if that's the case. Rip Lily. I was going to be honest with you, Chan. I played episode story, episode four story. I barely remember any of it. I don't even know the name of like any of the characters involved other than it's like, look at all the cool cameos. Aren't you happy these characters made it? Look how cool they are posing in the canyon. That, that's basically my recollection of episode four story. Remember Keelik? You totally didn't kill him for the scythe earlier. He's alive. Straight up, Chan. Every time I play, he like always done. I want to decide. Episode 4 does have a story. It's mostly just... Meteor has landed. Go to Meteor. Fight boss. Something something needing a faux new roll. Something something. Nicely done. Well, the boss battle music is almost timely. So close. Seven more ATP chat. Max ATP. <sighs> Cross scar. Got excited for a moment. That was actually an absolute massacre. Goodbye, every enemy. Did a bazillion damage, so it's appreciated. Now perish. Oh, this might be the rival music. I don't remember. I mean, the other ones were definitely the boss sounds. This one, I'm not as sure. Okay, so I can land the heavies. That's good. They need to do that quite a bit. Yeah, I think I'll use lightning on that since weakness is lightning. I'm gonna go in the corner and then aim inwards.
I guess they're weak enough I could just normal attack. I guess that's a little more forgiving. How did that not hit? I feel I feel cheated there. It w it moved towards me. My gun was facing it. I didn't hit it. Speaking of which, what was that? I don't know, Chad. I feel like something weird is happening with Bazooka. I, I feel like I was aiming dead center and it hit to the right again for no reason. Heard this song sample. What soundtrack is it? We're in Bomberman 64. The exact song is Altair 1. I don't remember if Altair was the name of the rival or not. Okay. Let's go for the lineup Olympics again. So we're gonna look at this side. I think I need to be a little more. Team's a little too far over. Yeah, you wanna make sure your right foot is not past the other rivet, or you're gonna be too far to the right. <sighs> not like in my lineup angle. <laughs> Camera, please. I swear, I swear it is so imprecise sometimes. I might be okay. I might be a little too far to the left. We'll see. I think Chris is slightly closer to me. Oh, actually, with my angle, that worked out. Nice. I'll take that then. What is that, says Blue Dana? Sounds accurate. Hit them to get XP, kill them for items. <laughs> they only get 52 XP, never mind. Not worth. Thank you for the good luck in Parameter. Hopefully you rest well. I'll do a couple more of these. It is a bonus stream. <laughs> Gavard at level 15. No thank you. Don't care if that caps humor. Spell doesn't deserve to be learned. How is he immune to freeze from that? Excuse me? Does Deltaver have immunity to freeze after landing? I didn't think they did after they landed, I mean. That was goofy. Unless they used a fire trap just then, but it looks like I didn't. Very interesting. Goodbye, Barenz. Let's see what happens, I guess, with this boss. Will I get invincibility is the big question. I did. Nice. I get a little closer for a better hit. I'm gonna back up slightly. Way well, also get hit less. Is that a flawless dragon fight? I didn't even get clipped by the stupid arena. Wow. Normally I just get bodied by that as you new rule. Take that, I guess. Armors. Last one should be weapons. 
Oh, also armors, never mind. Hmm. Oh well, Vulcan time. Although honestly, with only this many players, maybe it is better just to charge arm. I'm gonna believe in the Murphy insta kill. Team deal with that one. I'm gonna go back up here and kill these. Chase this one down. That puts me pretty out of position, sadly. I guess. That works. Slightly too early on freeze trap. That's fine. Oops. Murphy's getting bullied. Still do the Hellcleave Jack. Maybe I'll get an item with decent rolls. Ooh, Murphy's doing the Hellcleave Jack. I don't know why it never wants to target the rock properly. There we go. Weapons, nothing of interest. Ultra dead Sinnoh. Chris finally getting the event egg, nice. I was gonna say, you watch, we're gonna do tower, you're gonna get another event egg. I felt like there was one that spawned near me. Yeah, there we go. Oops. Chat targeting mine before theirs. Let's see, I'm gonna look straight. I'm gonna look to the right. I'm gonna make like basically a 90 degree turn and that should help me hit the Gal Griffin. I feel like doing that I very rarely miss. If I'm feeling really up to it, I think I can double hit him. This is the Reaper's power. If I do like a normal into a normal, or just heavy into maybe a normal. But I'll just go for the guaranteed single hit. I don't feel like doing anything too crazy. See, so I'm already facing to the right. Yeah, I got that early easy shot. Because I noticed Chris missed the shot. That's why I normally go to the right. It's very hard to miss it when it goes to the right. Ooh, nice big damage. Oops. That time that was my fault. Ooh, out of range. 
a little closer and do that again. Wow, bo boss is making sure I cannot hit it. Okay, there we go. By the time it lands, it's gonna die, so I don't think it really matters what I do here. Yeah, I killed it midair. I remember Cannon Rouge can hit ridiculously high up, so I just went for it. <laughs> just so you're aware. I'm just like, I remember it. I'm pretty sure it can hit it when it goes up like that. It feels like it shouldn't, but I know it does. So as long as it's not at like the very peak, you can still shoot it. It's pretty funny. Watching him zip upwards, but because he was briefly targetable, your shot goes upwards. You're firing an actual heat seeker. This is like the first mode select. I recall him briefly just trying out different abilities in multiplayer. I would play single player to dress up the characters for multiplayer. <laughs> that was the big thing. I love that you can have like the AI control fights. Remember, there's like a giant pyramid you could try to survive on. not going to teleport up to me. I, I was fully expecting him to be on the platform with me, not still back there. There we go. I think when I played Bomberman 64, my goal was just to hit the, the timeout situation. The pyramid would flood, the other stages would lose tiles. and simple. I'm going to consume the star atomizer here to fix my synchro. I probably need to keep my moons. Do I need to keep my souls? No. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> There's the hurry up music. I was going to say, I dare you to attack me, Zenozel. Did somebody get Mag Blast? Nice. Okay, let's go for the Del Beater stun strategy. I'll wait a little bit for Murphy to catch up to me so we could go Foey. He's going to go over here. Oh, Chris is in the no-go zone. The Gafoe did hit. It's a good job. I'm very surprised I didn't hit Chris. The desync must be real. Yeah, see, I can't. Yeah, maybe I had to wait till I killed all the enemies. Maybe that's what the problem was. So I just went to use it again. So let's kill these, and then I'm gonna try to hit the switch. Oh, maybe that's what the beep 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 boop sound is if that comes active. Yes. There we go. Door to tower has been opened. I got the prompt this time. Let's get the game over music. See, now getting the, the ring makes more sense if that is sometimes leads the tower. Ooh, the result screen music.
Yeah, I think later in the week we'll do more Endless. I do think Yellow ID Endless is really, really good. Almost getting Banjo-Kazooie vibes from the song. I'm assuming that part of the song in particular. And that's it for the soundtrack. Next one. It's only an 18 minute soundtrack, what? Madness. See, Chad, this is why I have to open up so many for Bomberman. They're so short. It feels like I'm listening to NES soundtracks. Random photon draw. Blind firing into the room. Kinda worked. Ah, uh, this time we killed them all and then the door didn't open. Okay. Maybe that's the cutoff when you open that other door, it's over. So what's different this time? Is it just gonna be like an extra warp in the healing trap room? Okay, it is. Now that makes more sense. Oh, frozen shooter time. Wow, that is such a rude spawn. <laughs> that was so rude. Literally right as right in the spawn. That is such nonsense. Holy. Oh boy, we don't have demons, I just realized. Epsilon is gonna be very interesting later. We're gonna believe in Oh, I'm in trouble. I need to go over here. That is so awful. Why did they put so many traps, like, right near the start? Like, you're barely in the room and there's already nonsense you have to dodge. Classic PSO design. Well, let's... Uh, seriously? Oh, yeah, did somebody hit the laser gate again or something? I was just trying to open these boxes. Got trolled. Take the try grinder. It's all for you, Chris. You wanted Lava's Cannon. Technically, Gibbles has it. Box, box checks here are not bad, though, in theory, if they get weapons. I was gonna say, I can't see the Ilgil, but I believe in the minimap. Wait, that was it? Just one enemy? I mean, this is this is pretty tame tower. If you're gonna just give me single Ilgil, I'll go, okay. I don't, I don't know if it's worth doing this quest for tower. Just that that was the room, I guess. Like, beware, solo Ilgil is here to ruin your day. Yeah, I can see this being kind of interesting. Sadly, Blue ID doesn't get too, too many crazy things in Tower. Not from Tower enemies specifically. And maybe from Gibbles or something. Check the other ones. What's with these single enemy rooms? I know there's not a lot of enemies, but still. Oh, that's horrendous. That is horrific. Dodging time. Okay. That's kind of brutal without a uh, frozen shooter. That's you. You don't have time to get close to freeze trap them. It's just kind of rude. Then there's another healing circle. I I don't know why. Like how 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 on earth would you burn that many freeze traps in this area? Like what? Like maybe if you're on normal and you got like five or something. I just I don't understand why that's there. 
I'd rather that have been boxes. ORT, you make me question everything. And they're spawning like so far away, I, don't, I, I can't even like react to that. This feels like just a pure memory game. It's not like we're having multiple waves near each other, which would let me freeze trap blind. Very weird. I mean, I guess if we're ever doing an I- Oh, there's a regular warp here. I'm probably gonna instantly die in a moment. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. I don't know where the- Oh, the other Ilgil is back there. Got it. Poor Murphy. Might be able to shoot it from here. No. It's like just out of sniper range. That's so sad. Rip Murphy. Ilgil wants to show you its figure skating technique. I'm so confused. <laughs> Why are there so many wharfs? <laughs> but but you're not even fighting enemies there. Why? Why? <laughs> Reminder, these are official quests, question mark. It's not a custom quest. Yeah, you know Epsilon is coming eventually. Or is this literally it? It's just single Epsilon. I mean, if it's just solo Epsilon, I don't really care. But I am going to need the healing at some point. Yeah, if we don't get a Zalur here, we're in big trouble. Otherwise, I mean, Heaven Striker could do some damage. If it came down to that. Just waiting for it to... To eventually split, please. I feel like this is taking longer than normal. What is go- What is going on? Why isn't it splitting? Hello? What was that? Doesn't it normally do a projectile and then immediately split? Why was there like an 8 second gap? Was it because any other players spawned in or something? That was very weird. I've never seen that behavior before from them. Normally they're very consistent. I don't think anybody died either. I'm not really sure why that happened. Because normally it's, it's I think, three shots and then they do it. But that one, I think they were going like six or something. Like that was very absurd. I don't really understand. Well, on the plus side, it sounds like somebody got Meg Blast. I tried to save it. I tried really hard to save it, but you twins. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess we're gonna do Oka Flow the old fashioned way. Because I don't have enough to donate or do anything otherwise. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, there's no point to even getting hit. We're never gonna get it in time. Yeah, it's, it's not worth it because I burned my whole meter on it. Even waiting for 30, I think, would just take too long. Gets to feel like a real ball, something like that. Gonna be interesting. Okay. Got some of his health bar down. I mean, that still went really fast. Let's be honest, chat. That still went really fast. Uh, 
I'm definitely gonna switch to Charge Falcon. Heaven Striker, I think, was a good call because if it like whips up and down rapidly, the auto aim will follow. I'm gonna make sure it comes towards me a little more so that way I can take less steps to shoot. Normally, I just hit it as soon as possible, but this is a scenario where it might matter me not taking an extra two steps. Oh, misaimed. If I could just get one shot, it dies. Almost. I was out of range of the back foot. <laughs> Olga actually moved his foot out of the way to dodge it. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, I got trolled a little bit there. But I shot the front foot and somebody else helped finish it. That's still very fast. The boss still didn't really get to do much. I guess that goes to show you really don't need Mag Blast. Just bring two raw casts. <laughs> right, chat, just two raw casts is good enough. Broadcast OP. Curiosity about something. Oh, I was looking at Sky ID, ended up getting a uh, Parasitic Gene Flow. That's sad that it doesn't. That's so sad. I was gonna say, Chris could have hosted maybe for that. Because then there's Heaven Punisher from the Spiegels. It's only a 1 in 22,000 chance. Clearly worth. Yeah, I don't think we really ever need Deep Photon Core for anything. Oh, we got an A rank. Oh, because of the deaths. That's right. Uh, I guess I'll fix Synchro then. I mean, at least it's getting back above 60. Buy those, rebuy those. So I'll do maybe one more, and then if chat wants to do another quest, let me know. Probably go for like another 40 minutes, and I'll cut it off. Oof, only 8,000 for the A rank? That is brutal. Uh oh, see how Cleve waiting in the lobby. <laughs> how Cleve is like, I heard you needed damage. <laughs> the god cast waits for us. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I don't want to do... Sorry, I was thinking Endless in my head. I don't want to do Endless. Little Slash Lobby. We can do Endless later. Endless is later. Make another one. Oh, see, there's the Bomberman theme. I hear it. It's after Saturn, Bomberman is Bomberman Worlds. Bomberman Hero. I feel like I've played that one. Is that the Game Boy one? Oh, no, no, it's the su it's sequel 64. Okay, then I've seen it played, but I've not actually played it myself. It's been a long time. Robot Wrangler here again. Something like that. Needless to say, I don't think we need to worry about getting back blast. <laughs> two raw casts, two casts, force. If this thing doesn't die with shift to D-Ban 30, I would actually be super shocked. I mean, we're missing the damage by like maybe 6,000. Are you telling me the two cast is not gonna do 6,000 in six hits? I don't, I don't believe it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like a single crit and it's gonna be like 2k easy gonna be disgusting. 
Say, I'm not even gonna bother with Mag Blast with this team. Now we can go truly optimal. Ooh, is that Hell Disco? Ooh, I like that fire trap. That was a good setup. I'm gonna go back for the HP material that dropped. Add slot? Wait, what? I'm assuming that's a box drop. There's no way. The... I mean, I did need one. I just don't have space for it. Awkward. Let's all drop escape doll. Cool, I guess. I I mean, I wouldn't have put RT in how I'm going to earn my ad slots for four, but here we are, I guess. The more you know. Is it always an ad slot? Now I'm curious. I almost never look at box drops, to be honest with you. I just accept them into my life that I'll just get them on occasion, but I will never farm them on purpose. Let's see. Temple. Temple yellow is the only one that gets ad slot. More you know. Who would have thought, chat? This is apparently an ad slot run. So definitely worth popping all the boxes, for sure. Yeah. Apparently, they also get Red Barrier from VR Temple Beta. Wait, how does... wait. Does this... actually, I didn't pay attention. Do this count as Alpha? Even though it leads to the boss? Huh. See, I would have thought this was beta. I didn't really think about that before, because you normally just take the warp. That's kind of unfortunate. We can't get Red Barrier. I mean, I'll take the ad slot, but it's just kind of like one of those things. Rip every enemy near me. Yeah, I didn't think about that until just now, because it's there's only one item drop in uh, Alpha for a majority of the things. A team kill those. Although apparently VR Spaceship Alpha has Red Barrier and Ad Slot. Too bad there's not really uh, boxes you pop when we're doing uh, RT. I was gonna say, yellow I do with surprisingly decent box rares. They get red barrier in like every single location, including Jungle North. That is hilarious. Oh, glitch. I saw you glitch. Rip the soundtrack. Okay, we did. A lot of damage there. So we're going to aim the corner. We're going to go towards the middle to try to protect Murphy. Hopefully our shot doesn't get eaten randomly. See if we time it in the middle, we can prevent it. There we go. It doesn't hit Murphy. Then we go to the other side. Change the music once the boss dies. We get one chance to stop the paralysis one. There we go. That time I landed it. I had to go like way left that I was used to aiming. Maybe that's the secret. Oh, look at that chain lightning damage. Oh, <laughs> it's already dead. Wow. We just uh, casually switch soundtracks. Don't even need to look at the screen. It's already over.
I also get yellow barrier in jungle east. Blue barrier in seaside. Interesting. Alright, time for the lineup Olympics. Ooh, I don't like my angle. I like my position, did not like my angle. I like to go to the back of the boat because it makes the camera move the least. Chris is definitely over way too far. We might need to go like here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, your goal is to go between the two rivets. And then depending on the angle, you either just hold straight or readjust slightly. Like, I think Murphy's too far to the right for sure. I think he's disqualified. I think I'm close. Oh, Cleve might be closer. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I got a dead center. GG. I win. <laughs> so there we go. I guess when you're a huge raw cast, you center yourself in the between rather than touching a foot on it. <laughs> I was going to say, we got the bazookas for everything. Oh, Cleve will just DPS Golgus out of existence. I love he doesn't even need hell. He just needs charge ray gun. He's like, I'm a Hugh cast. It's like I'm using hell all the time. <laughs> they die instantly anyway to my special. True statement. Get away from me. There we go. Just imagining like how Clue's face if he gets like an 80 hit charge ray gun. He goes like, pew pew, I'm a ranger. <laughs> Just kills everything instantly with all specials. Uh, it'd be something. Speaking of something. Like that freeze trap. I love, I love fast shooting that freeze trap with the bazooka. There's something about it that just, it's so beautifully overkill. It's totally unnecessary. It's my favorite trap shoot in the game. Okay, here's your lava cannon chance. Yeah, that time it worked. Whatever. Password screen. I don't think I ever knew there was a PS1 Bomberman, to be honest with you. Not sure what the gameplay is like. Oh, that thing is already dead. I was just, I, I wasn't even bothering to equip my cannon root or not cannon root. So I wasn't gonna equip my charge Vulcan. I'm like I already knew deep down between the Hugh cast and another raw cast. I don't need to swamp. Come on, invincibility for Hulk leave. Yes, be free, Hulk leave. <laughs> Walk into the fire and the flames. Sadly, I did not get invincibility, so I have to wait. It still hit me from there. That is insane, actually. Dragon got deleted. Weapons of interest. Sadly, I think those are always armor. Yeah. I guess the close ones are worth popping for weapons. Nice photon draw. Ridiculous damage coming towards them. I'm gonna run towards the Marillas, I think. Oh, 
Oh, he actually hit me out of my combo. That was awkward. Also, speaking of awkward, why are there such long pauses in the songs? It's like 12 seconds of dead time on some of them. It's really weird. Soundtrack editor, please. Just use something like Audacity and trim it. It's not that hard. Don't even need to equalize it. I guess my arm was in the graphic of it, so it wouldn't re-aim. That was interesting. Megid is real. Or if you live in the Megid life. It is working pretty often. The 50 50 is real. And protect Chris. I'm gonna go for the far one. Nicely done. Murphy's arriving with one of his many cast bodyguards. My storm wand. It is kind of sad I can almost kill them with pure normals. If I roll well. Sadly have no room for that. preparing for the boss. Rip Hell Cleave. Uh, so I'm gonna face to the right. Cause I know I can hit it. I feel like next time I'm playing the Huka Seal without Dark Flow here, just throw a Kunai. So I'm facing right. Got a nice shot on the boss. I'm gonna try to move a little. Oh, the team's moving with me. Let me go this way. There we go. Got a nice shot on the boss. Another nice shot on the boss. Boss is almost dead. Boss is dead. Boss hitting me like a million times with tornadoes. Thanks. Cool. I love it pulling my camera upwards. That isn't really hard to tell where the things are. Appreciate it. Easy kill on the boss at least. Any fun weapons? I mean... There can be some good weapons that spawn here. We got some 50 hits before, for example. It's not like super common, but we might as well just check them. Get by the HP material. So yeah, this character got surprisingly close to 178 already. Oh, that reminds me, chat. I think I have some plans for Friday evening. But I might do an earlier Friday stream to get for people in the other time zones. Like starting after lunchtime or whatever and ending by five. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be back until super late night if I come back. I made some plans earlier. Had enough of that. I'm gonna wait for people actually. There we go. 
Nice freeze. Like the Rafoe to pop the boxes, appreciate it. I still have yet to see a single useful item up there. It's kind of sad. Like in theory, it could be something good. It's just not usually. Press <laughs> him around the corner. <laughs> Poor robot. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother attacking those. Chat's got those. We're just gonna move on. We'll kill that one, though. We'll do, like, maybe a pity free strap. Maybe it'll hit. If he wants to leap towards me, he dies. Oh, never mind. He got deleted by chat. Any fun items before they die? Eh, a couple try mates. That's not too bad. I'm not at max healing, so I might as well just pick those up. See, I think. Ooh, Hope Thief about to go for the Twin Blaze strategy. So we're gonna come over here. Gonna put a happy little freeze trap down. And it worked. I think I timed that well. I let Hell Cleave pop it with Twin Blaze and it froze it. I don't think anybody else hit it with a freeze trap. And I didn't shoot with my frozen shooter yet. So we'll take those. Abusing Helcles Fireball to get the instant detonation. Tower this time. Uh Nah, it's okay. I mostly just wanted to see what it was like. <laughs> I think I watch Hellcleave just special it. He saw that box and was like, all fire shots. Got some recons. No items dropped though. Drop rates do help with those. They have insanely bad drop rates. Things like the moths, for example, are nice to boost with it too. My Rico box. Chat with the hell. I'm just gonna move on. Oh, can you imagine if that was 9,000 M? I wish the other numbers were useful. What the? Oh, somebody tripped the thing. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, that can't be me. I would have been hit earlier. Oh, I got a luck material from up in the box. Damn, I don't have space for that. What do I give up? Do I give up another escape doll? I think I just give up evade material. I'll put some items away. What am I not using in this run? Probably my spread needle. Put that away while doing this run. It's all because on 29, can't pick it up. The downside is I have I had two free slots, quote unquote. I don't usually reserve space for luck material since it's so rare. This enemy is body blocking me. It's kind of a problem. I don't need to hit, get hit. I just need to get through. Oh, that was such a good freeze. Checkmate. I was like, if he teleports towards me or Murphy, it's over for him. Rip Murphy. I swear Murphy got double hit by that somehow. That was interesting. On my screen, it looked like he got wap wap.
Honestly, I don't think we need it, as I said before. Maybe just two donations is good enough. I mean, we did it with just 30s earlier. What soundtrack we on? Uh, Bomberman World, Area 3, Planet Fire, parentheses, Fire Bomber. It is all Bomberman. That is not the weapon I want to be wielding. There we go. Bomberman has some weird soundtracks. Fireball! No problem, Twin Crab. Yeah, the most I think I remember on the PS1 was like a multiplayer compilation. Ooh, just missed it barely. I'm gonna use Heaven Striker to auto aim here. I think that worked. <laughs> Given that I took damage, I think it landed. Thank you, Heaven Striker. Sometimes when I just don't feel like aiming properly, just spam nothing but special and believe. Again, another one where I don't really think Bomberman with this. Like, there's definitely one... I usually think more... What's the word? Peppy? I think more upbeat, usually, with some, like, influence. Techno or whatever. It's got a very machine feel to this song. Like, I, I would picture a factory if I had a name where they would use this. Yeah. I mean, it's not... It's, I mean, it could work if it is, like, a giant factory level. I could kind of see it at, like, the boss headquarters. Looks like we're cheering on Hellcleave. <laughs> the double arm pump. Murphy, meanwhile, not impressed. Just oops all tank. Oh, look at his twirl. Damn, he 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 gets some airtime with that knockdown. Look at him go. All F1 is real. Look at him go. This term we earned the 20,000. Let me put away some of these. So I can actually hold more items going forward. Oh, I gotta be careful if I do endless to bring spread needle out of the bank. It's the only downside when you put that away. So don't need the add slot. Very unlikely to get another look material. Um the way a spread needle. I do use Frozen Shooter, I use Charge Iron Vulcan, sometimes Heaven Striker, Cannon Rouge is using the run. A second Feed Mag. Get that Synchro higher. In theory, I could just use Dimates, I guess. Or not Dimates, just use Trimates for healing. If I wanted to save one more slot. But I'm mostly just saving some money with it. Like here, at least I'm going money positive. If I had to buy like three or four trimates a run, that might make me go money negative. So do one more of these, and then whatever the team wants is the final quest, you could decide.
the reason the soundtrack paused? There we go. Damn, I can't believe this character is already this close to 178. Bonus streams are real. Engineer is NG here. Hey, how come he's not doing the big tumble like he was earlier? Now he's just falling backwards. It's not as impressive. There we go. Spin in place for Hellcleave's arrival. soundtrack so far. Wow, I can't believe I killed that Lily from there. Car Jarm, you're so silly. The 1631 crit was the lore? Nasty. Let's see if we get any other random ad slots today. So funny enough, that fourth ad slot it stops me from needing to convert anything. So it saved me like seven bronze badges or whatever. So definitely want to make sure I pop these going forward. I wonder if the, uh, maybe the worm boss counts as temple beta, maybe? Because then I could still technically get red barrier from the boxes from worm. I imagine he would count as that. So I guess that's not too bad then. I so, two major sources of potential ad slots. And again, not normally something I hunt for in Ultimate, but I'll take that as a, a prize, because Yellow otherwise Temple is just kind of mediocre. Nothing in game. I think I got deleted. shooting the traps. We don't need to do that. There we go. Kill the lilies. Absolutely <laughs> obliterate that rappy. Guess I could pick up the evade material again. Again, if I happen to lose them, it doesn't really matter. The least important material for me. So I'm doing episode four.
Now I'm like, come on, add slots and red barriers. Right, chat? Why not? Oops, that should have been a power attack. Take it the glitch, though. Get some damage to the boss. Interesting that Dark Flow was setting the worm as it went under. There we go. I'm, I'm getting pretty good at sniping those. So I could kind of keep Murphy protected against the BS. There we go. That time I didn't miss. So yeah, I think it just sets me up to be in such a beautiful position. Damn. Oh, we didn't even get to beach? Oh, Cleave slapped it from existence. Rip Worm. That damage was that was silly. I did not think Dark Flow would reach from there, but clearly it did. And clearly it was very effective. Interesting consideration. Oh, I think I have it exactly lined up. I'm maybe like a half step too far to the right, but I think I got my angle. I'm not gonna reset it here. Like Chris is, I think Chris is about where I want to be. So if he's angled perfectly, he's got it. He'll win the Olympics. We're some kind of horrible hybrid monster creature thing. We're just like a million limbs, couple heads. Uh-oh, Murphy's no longer looking. Let's see if he's lined up. Oh, I might be... Ooh. Oh, I actually had the perfect angle. Damn, I had the perfect angle. Sick. So yeah, it... Whether you need to be further to the left or not depends on the angle. And I got the perfect angle. Nice. I was gonna say, look how fast that was. It just whipped around. Maybe I did use the fire trap earlier. Thought I had 19 max for some reason. The Zuka Bros. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I'm trap shooting my freeze trap with Cannon Rouge. I just love it. I'm like, listen, I don't need to DPS. I believe in the chat. I'm just making sure I can't possibly miss the freeze trap. No timing needed. Just vaguely aim. GG. I always forget about that. Thank you for shooting it. I remembered that I forgot this time. It's progress. Yeah, maybe we'll end it with a TTF or something. Murphy now 133. Congratulations, Murphy. This character got very, very, very close to 178. Oh, I actually got invincibility. I got scared for a second. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I revive Hellcleave. Lost from me a die mate? Seriously? It's unfortunate.
There we go. Bob my head to the music. Goodbye, Marillas. Nice, Chris got another Easter egg. <laughs> that was a confident me good. I just saw it go by and just boom, it's over. Brings you to eight. Yeah, it just takes a bit of a grind. RBR I think helps with that. So if you're around on a uh, Wednesday, Chris, we'll probably do RBR for you. And that'll be for things like Heaven Striker, maybe Disco Brave Man or something. Another excuse to use Red ID in Episode 4. Ooh. Chat just picked one and just boom. Four spawned, all done. Need to get a fork. Oh, demonic fork. I think I got one when I was being a monster and playing on pink ID. I did pink ID tower with Fomarl. There you go. Look at that. Persistence paying off for Chris. Don't ask me why I foam world into tower. I just know what happened at some point, and that's how I got it. It was a decision that was made. It wasn't a good one, but I remember. Because I was like, oh, I got a V502. Why don't I just go for all the interesting rares? And it just, uh... I mean, to be fair, she does use it whenever I RT here. We'll do the equivalency. Or when we're doing that one, uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Phantasmal World or whatever. PW3. When we're doing the X Calhoun, she, use she uses it there a lot. She's basically like 80% Slicer of Fanatic, 20% Demonic 4, nothing in between. Back-to-back -back PD drops. There we go. See, the game is like, you know what? You're going to win the lottery eventually. Helps that there's more enemies that we kill in this quest compared to some of the others. Yeah, RBR is a good way to build the bags. So we'll probably do that. I think I'm at like 77 total. Oh, that was a solid hit. Although I saw, oh, 4% miss chance. I got troll. I saw a red miss. <sighs> Rockcast, please. <laughs> I think I got a good hit there. That was a good hit. That was another good hit. That was another. Oh, I ended you. You're in the sky. I don't care. I don't know what this thing's vertical range is supposed to be, but it might as well as be infinite for this boss and be real with you. Actually, I wonder if that's a strategy. Hold on, I'm gonna try something. When we go to fight Ogaflow, I'm gonna do one normal with Cannon Rouge and see if it targets. I'm gonna see if I can cheese some damage on this boss and then go to Charge Vulcan. Vertical range is like a foe, it's yes, pretty much. I mean, you saw the boss was like nowhere on my screen, and I still got both shots. I even did it while the boss was up there, not even while rising, and it still worked. It's actually ridiculous. So now I'm wondering if I could have been uh, Cannon Rouging, or even Heaven Striking as it's coming down. 
Hmm. Like, Heaven Strike, I'm more worried about the distance. Cannon Rouge, I think, would hit no matter what. Hmm. Oh, I got him so bad in that freeze trap. GG. Repel cleave. Still have yet to see anything interesting drop up there. It's so sad. But hey, at least I'm at 74% uh, uh, synchro. Slowly rebuilding despite being in episode 2. I was gonna say, there's no way he's getting through Frozen Shooter. Oh, Charge Vulcan, no hit. Come on. Oh, my bad. No, wait, we'll, we'll make it through. I'm not going back. Yeah, if I don't hit the switch, we get poison. We'll be fine. Just like a minor inconvenience. If we were low level players, I'm gonna consider going back, but no, we're good. Oh, I took some heavy fire damage from that. That's unfortunate. Anyway. The twin blaze is out. I'm going to try to time the uh, freeze trap again. There we go. Got it. First one was too early, second one was exactly when needed. Nice, nice. A very ominous for Bomberman. Must be like a funnel area or something. Damn. Hey, those Senos overtime. They're putting in the work. Multi kill. By Rigo Box. Now I'm really curious. I I should I should be experimenting because I'm just waiting their board anyway, waiting for him to fall. And if I leave it on Cannon Rouge, I can very easily go back to Charge Vulcan. I mean, there's literally no downside to me testing it. Even if I do the heavy attack, if I do it immediately, the worst thing that happens is it whiffs, and then I Charge Vulcan anyway. Yeah, let's let's try to optimize their damage because there, there's a couple times where we whiffed by like 2,000 or less, and if I could get like a 96% hit on the enemy or even just like another 500 damage, three people doing that potentially would end up being like 1,500. So teaching players to uh, use that Heaven Striker early could result in extra hits instead of us all just waiting. So I'm almost wondering if Chris should try Heaven Strike Ring as soon as the boss is, like, active. And then switching to a Charge Vulcan afterwards. Just so he tests, like, all the weapon types. It's, uh, I think Heaven Striker will hit that high up. But it might be the auto attack only. We'll see. Oh, I actually don't have Mag Blast? Wow. I think that's a first. I think I'm just so used to boss TPSing. Yeah, when it went before Olga's on screen. Yeah, if you special attack immediately. So just do like special, 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 and then charge Vulcan if you got it. I'm curious if Cannon Rouge will hit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a normal Cannon Rouge hit. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out things that work. But anyway, I'm at 100. Oh, you should be using Charge Volk on that boss over Yashmanikov. You don't need the distance bonus. I mean, it kind of helps, but... Honestly, I don't think we need the bonus. I'll be real with you, if all of you donated, it would probably still be strong enough. We did see the Humar debuff doesn't reach. That was the saddest thing we've ever seen. Watching that poor level 15 debuff just not reach Olga Flow before it moves. Just like that. That felt spiteful. <laughs> just like, wow. Honestly, big wow. So in theory, no, 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 crystal shoot from there. I'm saying like get close and then get ready. It's not targetable yet. So do you like special, special, special than whatever your normal gun is? I'm just curious if any of us can hit it with ult weapons while we're waiting, like before it's visible. So we'll see it go up in a second. Hopefully with stream delay, that's fast enough. No, that's not good enough. Yeah, unfortunately, Cannon Rouge doesn't hit. Unfortunate. Rip Hulk Leave. Just need, like, one really good hit. I did get the one really good hit, but it only did 500 on one of the hits. GG. I saw a 2500 in there, though. That was kind of gross. Okay. So maybe only Heaven Strike I can? Because my shot definitely didn't, and I was looking for my shot. Anyway, back to Charge Vulcan here. No, you shot too early. I'm surprised how Cleave didn't die. Oh no, he did, never mind. Earlier. Oh look. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, Chris has the Australia bonus. He shouldn't be tired. Wait a minute. <laughs> Isn't it like 4 p.m. there? I'm on the 2 a.m. debuff. It's just good for DF, that's fair. Aw. Oh, Chris needs more sleep. Um, we'll do, uh, we'll do a different quest to end things. But yeah, this character came very close to leveling, which is nice. And I like that they're doing runs that are worth it, versus just doing it for XP. So I'll switch over to the Hugh Seal one more time. And that's one left TTF that she has to do. Got only 72,000 XP needed, not bad. Ooh, six deaths. Only S rank. Rip money. Rip the 6,000 Masetta. Actually, get rid of my soul atomizers. I don't need that many. Okay. 
I mean, I think I'm still playing okay. It's not... I'm more quiet when I'm focusing versus, like, talking out loud. That's just kind of the side effect of being tired. But... I think otherwise, like, I'm landing my combos. I had, like, a couple of weird aiming moments. But I adjusted that on the raft. I think that was more the game. I feel like the I feel like on the raft specifically that was more the game where I have to like really ridiculously aim not where it wants to go in order for it to hit where I needed to go. It's probably one of the only instances I can think of where I have to purposely miss aim it for it to land. It's very ridiculous. Like I'm aiming at the like if I'm hitting dead center I gotta aim to like the far corner and that still works for some reason. Yeah, this should be real quick. So one less towards the future she needs. And then uh, if she ends up participating in RBR, then uh, she'll get a little bit of XP while giving access to Heaven Striker or Disco Brave Man. I'm sure the team would be happy to have. Yeah, Disco Brave Man's one of those ones where I'm not going to go out of my way to hunt it, but it's a nice supplemental rare. It's like having it. I'm not going to hunt for it specifically, though. Ooh, mine material. I'll take that. <clears throat> you know what? Since the group's already killing that one, why don't I just kill this one? Team doesn't need my DPS anyway. There we go. I get to be Dark Flow buddies with Hell Cleave. <laughs> Although now I was thinking about bringing in a mag that heals itself just for Hell Cleave. <laughs> Running around with my striker unit with Resta. Just let it trigger randomly. There's the bomb man theme. Ooh, too early. Oh! Whoever hit right after me, great timing. Not me. I I have to I have to master the timing. I'm now aware that is a thing as of this month. I didn't think that was a thing. I've saw it before. I thought it was like a UI glitch, but no. No, it's real. Because there's a couple times where I got it with Chain Lightning, I remember back then. But I never actually saw it to the point where it, it legitimately one-shot the boss. Now it's doable with Hunter. I'm gonna try to pull the slime over here. Uh... Okay, that'll work. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was far enough over, to be honest. Although it really messes up my fire traps, because I gotta move with it. Rip. No rare lily. Just gonna go ahead and put a freeze trap here for later. I think that worked. Either that or a team put another one down. One, two, three. Yeah, like how kill greedy we are now in TTF. Just go for all the kills, team. Go for the greediest kills. And then just take the telepipe back with Hellcleave. Oh, uh, Murphy pulled one. Rip slime. Oh, I actually got invincibility? Seriously? Hmm. Do I dark flow? I guess I do.
Uh, somebody did like 6,000. I'm assuming it was Hulk Weevil on that Excalibur. That bots went from 8,000 to 1,000 in one in like one combo. This something. Get that enemy. Sounds like Twinkle Circuit from Sonic Adventure. Interesting. Oh, I think I gained too much HP. That's a shame. Grand 25 worth pickup. Uh, I wouldn't drop items for it, but I mean, if it's there, it's probably better than what some of my characters have. Some of them are using like 22s. I think the new force in particular doesn't have a good one. Too far away now, damn. He offered and was like, no, I giveth and taketh away. <laughs> Hopefully he's like, I could just give him to you. That's fair. Oh, that freeze trap was disgusting. I think that's just my new favorite thing, just to put the freeze trap, timing it. It makes me so happy, chat. It's like the small little things where being able to play the cast to their true power extent. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, or not. That works. You know what? When in doubt, brute force. <laughs> oh, Helky probably has, uh, what's it called? Twin Blaze. Oh, this, oh, this screen is so dead. <laughs> Murphy just needs to slow it down. <laughs> That's it. The double twin blaze is coming. Twin blaze party. Yeah, hearing this, I would think maybe Bomberman. Th this feels more in theme with Bomberman when I think Bomberman. Yeah, I really need Disco Bray Man to lower my health there. That, that'll that be my optimization. Now that I have four ad slots for 13. That way I could just drain my health instantly. Bonk. <laughs> On the plus side, I can free Chris instantly. Berserk Ray Gun. Could have been something good. Ooh, let's see what Hellcleave does. Oh, Hellcleave doing a little dance. Well, I'm gonna lure them into the corner, because that's my favorite. And goodbye. There we go. Hellcleave and I going for the dangerous strats. Well, come here, free strat. I'm gonna confuse you. Have fun. As soon as it spawns again, it's dead. Oh, actually, it's out of range. But not far enough out of range. Peter's having a temper tantrum. Sorry to hear that. Leave me alone. I killed that enemy instantly. Get out of here. Oh, the orb blocked one. I was like, how did that not one shot? I was gonna say, I'm, I'm living the crazy dark flow life, which is using it in normal rooms. <laughs> There we go. When you don't care anymore. I got enough spare HP, it should be fine.
I'm definitely going for the Dark Flow strat in this area as well. visually. Oh, that is really hard to read the room with the Kafoe. Okay, I think I see my opening at least. We should be good. I got scared because I saw movement towards me and then I realized it was Chris. And then I realized he was pulling stuff with Odom. I'm like, ah! Alright, we just gotta dodge a little bit longer. We almost got it. Shot one. Need to shoot one more, I think. Now oh, there must be... must have missed one. That's fine. There we go. <laughs> I was doing the count in my head. I'm like, they should have had it there. So I'm going to walk slightly further forward. I'm a little out of position because I was looking for the last spinner. But I should be able to get like a swing here. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Slap, slap, slap. So if we're lucky, we're going to dark flow the whole phase. But it's probably not going to happen. Oh, I clipped it a little. I, I mean, technically I dark flowed the whole phase. <laughs> I, I didn't heal. I just didn't feel like using it for its special too far. Oh, well. I, I don't believe in not getting hit here, so I'm just going to heal. I would love to dark flow this phase, but... I don't see how I could realistically survive the other thing. Wow, down to 8,000 health. That's not a lot left. Oh, that's rude. GG. Man, our DPS is so high. What phase exactly? Jeez. The cast army is real. So anyway, chat, tears are real. <laughs> Hugh, Hugh casts rock cast damage out of this world. Hugh seals decent, but she can't compete with this damage. When I need the accuracy on like hell and stuff, she's a lot of fun. But man oh man. Well, the timer says we took nine hours. Something tells me it was not a nine hour run. C call it intuition. So yeah, she's within potentially eight runs. And she'll finally be able to red ring. That'll be nice. 11.27, that's pretty good. There we go. Chad, remember when my synchro was 0%? That shows you how few times I've died as the Hugh Seal. Look at that, chat. She's building synchro with using uh, Dark Flow. That's some serious huntering. Now I just gotta fix her luck at 180, so she's at 19%, 19 more luck. What is it 0.2% per luck point or something? <laughs> 47 hour, 47,000 hours, A rank. Oh, principal. <laughs> He's always trolling. So anyway, let's shout a little. How do we feel the runs went? Well, Chris got Easter eggs. That's that's one of Chris's true hunts. He needs more of those. So hopefully we'll find more on Wednesday, assuming Chris is around then. But uh, yeah, sadly... Oh, no, we did get a Galatine. We did get a Galatine. So we got to see one of the alt rares, at least. And then... Yeah, I think from that standpoint... We got a decent number of materials. I got more luck material. That's always nice to see in a run. Also, randomly got that ad slot. That 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 was my rare of the day. <laughs> Single ad slot. There you go. But uh, yeah, I think we're getting there with two different characters, trying different runs. I definitely see the advantage of the blue ID robot check. I should have been doing that more often in hindsight. But oh well. At least we learned things today. We also learned tower wasn't really worth doing. Because there's just not enough enemies. 
Rafisa has got some PDs, I'm happy. Yeah. I don't recall if I picked up any in the run. Maybe one. I was more looking for the ults. Yeah, we'll probably be starting Wednesday early because I don't have any plans. So even though we did very late night today, I would expect a very early start Wednesday comparatively. Also, the spawns are awful in tower. Those spawns were actually, you know, given how few enemies there were, those spawn patterns were terrible. <laughs> like, like, honestly, they were really bad. They weren't, like, cross-formation unplayable, but they were, like... The triple lily was really stupid. Or, yeah, the triple murder flower, excuse me, was really stupid. That that wave was just unforgivable. If it was like that against the far end of the room, it would have been fine. Yeah, the like the ill gill by itself, and then you have to teleport to get to another ill gill. It's just weird. I just I don't know. PSO game quest designer, big question mark. But anyway, I'm glad that there's better tower options for sure. Stuff like that is why I don't like tower, between like the lack of enemies and bad patterns. It would that it's probably on the more forgivable scale, but it's not really fun or worth playing either simultaneously. So, I don't know. Maybe in the future we'll do an endless, I guess, white ID at some point. I have to figure out what ep I have to figure out what character is the best for endless if we're gonna do it in episode two. Like I did really enjoy it, and I do want to go back to it. It's probably one of those ones where with drop rate up, it's completely doable. I think that one's supposed to split apart the four player part and you have two player. I think. Yeah, maybe. But then it's weird because there's like that other set of warps that don't do anything. It's like they thought there would be more waves and then everybody meets in the center, but it doesn't work like that. <laughs> there's no point to the other warps. I don't know why there were that many warps. I understand one warp to go like from one end of the room to the other, but like what were the middle warps about? What the heck was that? It's just dumb. But anyway, uh, that's all for now. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day or a good night, depending on the time zone.